Hey, how's it going? In a day, I just wanted to do a quick video on asset management in Unreal, especially as I'm getting closer to finishing the game that we've been working on for several months. And I just realized one of the skills that you need to have is the ability to manage a lot of assets, especially if you're not building the levels from scratch, which would really require a lot of work. So what we got to do is like, if you come in here to Unreal and you go into your assets that you can accumulate over time by taking advantage of free for the month, I've been taking advantage of that for a couple of years now. And I, as you can see, I've built up quite a library and there's different packs in here that are extremely helpful. Like there's one here called the hospitality pack and there's a big office and I don't know, there's city street props and there's just all these assets and you'll have the option to add them to a project. So what you do is you create a, basically you go in and you create a blank project and you specifically name it something like assets. In this case, I have one called assets. It's just a blank project in 5.1. Then what you do is you go in through all these asset packs and then you add them to that, to that one game project. So you have all your assets in one folder. It can hold quite a, quite a lot in megabytes. So you go through and let's say you just should go through every asset pack that you have and just load it all into one, one game project. All of these assets that are available that you can use to build up your level because different ones have different props in them. Like there's one down here called Supermarket. I don't know if you ever saw that one. It's down here somewhere. Uh, supermarket, Supermarket. Thought it was down here. Let's see. Some smoke builder, stylized. Oh, right here. So you see where it says add to project. So, so you make a, a new project and then you just go in and add all these assets to one project. So you have everything in one. Then what you do, is so your project doesn't bloat. So I have one here called assets one. So let's go ahead and open that real fast. So I think I've loaded in here four or five asset projects, you'll create another blank project that your game's going to be in. So you'll have this one project that has all of your assets in it. And then you're going to have a separate folder, a separate project that's your actual game. And then what you do is you simply go through your asset packs and migrate over whatever you want. So let's say I go into this hospitality pack and I want, I don't know, we, there's a lot of stuff in here. So let's see, models. Oh, like there's this one on kitchen, I'll open it up. There's like utensils in this one. No, let's, let's find something a little better than that. There's one on lights, so there's like light. So I'll go through and I'll identify whatever assets in here, because I don't need to have the whole project in there that's just taking up a lot of space for no reason. So I'll just, it's like you're going shopping. And so you'll go through this main folder and you'll like this here's one is the bathroom. And you can find, you know, there's even toilet paper in here. And you just click what you want. You know, you click the assets that you want. And then you right click. And you simply go to migrate actions. And then you go and it'll tell you what's going to be, going to all need to be migrated over. And then you go, okay. And then you simply figure out what folder that you want to put it in, what content folder. So I have this one in prototype one. And I click that. And then those assets will go into my game project, into my game folder. So this becomes important because there's just so much involved with creating a level. And then from there, it's just the process of grabbing all these assets and combining them together, floors, the walls, the doors, whatever, and you can create your 3D environment from. But the idea is that you're not bringing in the entire asset pack into your game. You're just picking and choosing from a different folder which of those assets to migrate over so you don't bloat your game project folder up. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.